Hello and uh, welcome to Town Talk. I'm your host, Rose Highland Sharp. This very inspirational program is brought to you by Highland Communications for storytelling, entertainment, music, and much more. Call at 910-528-0718. Hello and uh, welcome to the fourth lesson of the Vacation Bible School virtual music and dance class. I'm the Reverend Rose Highland Sharp and these lessons are expressly made for First Calvary Missionary Baptist Church located on 240 Fields Drive, Sanford, North Carolina, where the pastor is the Reverend Dr. Thomas E. Smith Sr. Of course, everybody is welcome to these lessons and all my many different friends and many different denominations in the body of Christ. Amen, amen. All right, so in lesson number one, it's going to be a little bit different today. I'm not doing any dancing, but I have a little helper that's going to be doing something special. It's going to be a little bit shorter today. Number one, stay connected. And my question to you, how can we stay connected? What are the different ways? And I'm giving this to the youths and the adults. Please get back with me uh, by email, by text, by messenger on Facebook, please. Lesson number two, with God, all things are possible. Well, what things are possible? That's my question to you. Lesson number three, inner reflections, connecting ourselves to the Lord. How can we do this? What are the various ways that we can do that? Amen. And lesson number four today, we have a very special tribute. And the main word today is good trouble. I know my pastor preached on it, uh, uh, Dr. Smith and others around the nation and the world, in remembrance of uh, U.S. Representative Congressman, the late John Robert Lewis. And also, he was a wonderful friend and colleague and, and marched along the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So we have a special song that was recorded by the Reverend Dr. Paul G. Murphy and his wife, Sharon Murphy, Southern Pines, North Carolina. They're at Trinity AME Zion Church. I grew up with them, I'm just a little bit older. Wonderful musicians on both sides of the family, Sharon's side, the Campbells, and of course, Paul's side, the Murphys. Their children are gifted, siblings are gifted, incredible, talented family. So we're gonna be hearing the remix of their song Martin Luther King. It is so great. And my little helper today is going to do a ballet. And it's a soulful song. It's not totally classical, has the classical feel, but the soulful sounds. And I know there uh, Sharon and Paul's sons did the remix for this wonderful song. Now, all the songs we've been doing since the first lesson, we've heard the Afrocentric, Afro Calypso, uh, Latin sounds. Uh, the early slave songs that we didn't realize were songs, uh, some of us, uh, of freedom, uh, songs of escape to the Underground Railroad. Some of the old classics that those of us and people much older than me too grew up listening to, uh, singing in church, Sunday school and whatnot, and also the young ones today, we heard the remix of some of those songs. Amen. We heard some electric and electric sounds, a little bit the hip-hop sounds of gospel music as we danced. and. Thank you guys for dancing with me and keep exercising and keep that physical body together. Amen. Amen. We want to really re be reminded. We want to get through the trouble. And that said, as I said, you have lemon, you're going to make some lemonade, a little sugar, a little artificial sweetener. And life throws us lemons. Maybe you cause it upon yourself. The devil, you said maybe you do it. Yeah, the devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. God came and sent his son, of course, to give us life, life more abundantly, life everlasting. And sometimes we just do things on our own. Don't even attribute it to the devil. Oh, my goodness. Nevertheless, when we go through different troubles in life, and in the book of John, and the gospel of John, the sixth, excuse me, the uh, 16th chapter, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye should have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have over, overcome the world. 
I have overcome the world. We're going to have some troubles, and there are many other scriptures, and I always pray when I'm praying, I pray that scripture knowing that Jesus Christ overcame force. Now, I was led to the scripture for today to share with you 1 Peter, the third chapter, verses 13 through 15. And I am reading from the King James Version, and I do read and study from the other versions of the Bible for clarity, for understanding, for understanding of the words that were original Greek and Hebrew and those things, just to keep that in mind and for understanding. All right. And who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? But, and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Oh my goodness. Let me go back to verse 13. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? Good trouble. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. And we're going to go to that song by my little helper and her beautiful dance. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for those who tuned in today. And we believe by faith, God, that you're going to help people to get closer to you in the midst of being isolated, socially distanced, uh, have lost a loved one, have lost employment, have lost benefits, have lost a home. Oh, my God, all the losses just about lost their mind and some practically and actually have. Oh, God, I thank you for being our mental health, for being our emotional health. I thank you for helping us in our spirit, man, in our emotions, in our mind, in our bodies. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, helping us, Lord, to prosper in our soul and that we would seek first your kingdom, your righteousness, and everything else, all those other things we're in, in need of, whether clothing and food and jobs and transportation, housing and uh, friends and family, whatever that we need, God, we know you're going to add to us in the name of Jesus according to your word. Lord, I thank you for those who are listening to the sound of my voice, that those would draw closer to you, draw nigh to you, draw closer to you, draw closer to you, and we all will repent. That word you gave me in 1998, that summer, the word you gave me at the beginning of this year, 220, in January, uh, in the beginning of the Lenten season, the beginning of February, thank you, God, that we will turn from any wickedness, any sinful ways, any habitual sin, we will turn to you. Those of us who know you, those of us who are the church, we're in the church, we're in the body of Christ, and those who do not know you, that we will repent, make that 180 degree turn ah, from the sin to holiness, uh, to you, Father God, to live in right, to be in right standing with you in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise your name, we lift your name, we glorify your name, we thank you there is no other name but your name, your name is above all, and we thank you, God, that nothing is too hard for the Lord. Ha! Huh? With God, all things are possible. Huh? We thank you, Lord, that you can do anything but fail. Huh? We thank you, Lord God, this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We'll praise you with the symbols. We'll praise you with the organs. We'll praise you with our feet. We'll praise you, God, in all the ways we know how to praise you to make a joyful noise unto your name in the name of Jesus. We thank you for shaving. We thank you for delivering. We thank you for healing, making whole. We thank you for providing and that we all will be the answer to somebody's prayer. We lift up to you leaders, those who have no leadership responsibility, everybody in their place and space on this planet, throughout the ends of the nations on the seven continents. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus, we believe by faith that you're doing a mighty wonderful thing in these end times, in these seasons we're having in the beginning of sorrows. We bless and praise your name for your glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Christ Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Now you, come on and dance with my little helper and enjoy the song that's coming up. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you in a week or two. God bless.
understood he was the man And he knew what life was meant to be He had a dream, not just an ordinary dream That for once God's children would be free That justice would prevail. Martin Luther, Martin Luther King, we will remember you forever. Let the people, let the people sing that one day. was a time when all the world was on the line and oppression was the easy out but then he said let freedom ring for all mankind so why don't we all stand up and shout for peace my friend and for love and then maybe one day justice will prevail Martin Luther Martin Luther King we will remember you forever let the people that one day we'll be together. After all that he went through to make a way for me and you to stand together hand in hand and hope that soon we'll understand that all we really have to do is just believe that me and you and make his dream come true. Martin Luther, Martin Luther King, we will remember you forever. Let the people, let the people sing that one day will be. Thank you so much for tuning in to Town Talk. I'm Rose Highland Sharp. And as always, I hope you enjoy the show. And honey, remember, some way by God's grace and mercy, if you're walking the walk, you'll be on Town Talk. Take care. God bless. Town Talk airs daily at 11 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. and other times noted in the evening on WYBE-TV Spectrum Cable 3, Southern Pines, North Carolina, and on Rose Highland Sharp YouTube 24 hours a day. It is a service to the community. <laughs>